Very good to see you today. Yeah. Um, I know previously we've done some continuous work, which means that we were just doing continuous aerobic exercise, and that increased your endurance. We've now reached a phase of your training more specific, where we need to train other systems. So we're going to train your lactate system today. Yeah. Um, this involves interval type work, where okay. you've got a set period of time working, yeah. and a set period of time where you're resting. Okay. We've got some options on this. So the ratio we're going to be using is a one to two. Yeah. So whatever work load you're doing, the rest load is going to be double the length of time. Okay. Three options we can do. One minute work, two minutes rest. Yeah. Um, we can do 45 seconds work, 90 seconds rest, okay. or we can do 30 seconds work and one minute rest. Okay. And that's the one that we're going to do today is one minute rest. Okay. I know we worked out your heart rate, so let's see, your working rate is going to be around about 168. Yeah. And now that your uh, resting rate is going to be around about 148. Okay. We're going to correlate that with the RPE. So your RPE working is going to be about 8.5. Yeah. And your resting RPE is going to be around about 5 to 6 in terms of RPE value. So we're looking like a warm up in terms of what our resting activity would be. Okay. The purpose of the rest it has to be active rest because what we want is fresh blood to come in and just flush out the lactate that's accumulated in your muscle fiber. Oh. If you could just set your machine up for me for those uh, intervals. So the first one set on the recovery, you said? Yep. Yep. So we're going to start off on the recovery phase first. This gives you a nice kind of uh, lead into the main kind of exercise we're going to do. Okay, it's ready. So we're going to start off at one minute's worth of work rate. And I'll get your heart rate here set. We're going to work out around about 148. And that's going to be an RPE value of around about five to six-ish. So it should feel kind of like a warm up. Each seconds left before the actual work interval starts. Okay. To get yourself nice and prepared. I know you're going to pre-warm up anyway, so you're ready to, to go into the working phase. So we've got 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and now just start to pick that pace up for me. Excellent. Concentrate and put in the handle into the navel. Abs engaged, back straight, shoulders relaxed, head facing front, nice even breathing pattern. Doing really well, push through the heels, trying to lock the knees. Heart rate right, is getting up, we're not quite there yet, you're at about 160. And come down, excellent. So it's not unusual for the first interval not to reach your target heart rate, which is fine. So 30 seconds of work you've just done, and now we've got a minute stretch. How did that feel, that interval? The weird thing was, it was almost like in the first 10 seconds of the rest was when it peaked, and obviously now yeah. I'm really breathing and just trying to recover. Yeah, so effectively you're trying to recover quite a bit, you're feeling the effects of it in your resting phase when you're working phase. Yeah. And the shorter the interval is, the more you can actually feel that. Okay. We've got just about 20 seconds before we go again, so start to get yourselves nice and prepared. Doing really well. Just as you get more fatigued, obviously just think about your focus and your technique, keeping your back nice and straight, your breathing. And we've got three, two, one, time to go, let's work. Heart rate's keeping up quite nicely. There, about 155 at the moment. Doing really well about that halfway through. So focus on this one. Excellent. Fantastic. Three, two, one. And you can pretty much hit target heart rate spot on the last part of that interval. Fantastic. Let's do one more. Okay. 
Yeah, that one I was about that eight and a half number that you said. Excellent. So ten seconds to go. I knew where I was. I'm normally fine with fixed individuals. That scan of one to ten will relate, relate more closely to actually what's on the watch. Okay, you've only got 30 seconds left. Let the breathing recover. Should be at about 5 in your RPE. Your heart rate's dropping quite nicely into around about 152. So that's around about where you need to be in terms of your heart rate. 5, 4, 3, 2, Let's pull out on the last one. It's more cool than that. Do you really well, Crash Street Paul? Keep those spine locked in, chest pumped out. The track static as you're feeling from the arms. Push out with the heels. Only 10 seconds left. Now, doing really well. Half rate is dead on target, you're about 167 at the moment. Excellent, well done, and rest out. Excellent, good session.